Okay, see and she's not moving. So you look, you barely feel it's a very subtle contraction, okay? So that's a huge difference between whole relax and control relax, okay? How you do it in upper extremity, okay? So let's go my way. Again, she's here, she's with a lot of pain, okay? She's a lot of pain. I, I kind of get her up to up to there, okay? So, okay, I want to relax here completely. Let her go, okay? Okay. Relax completely, okay? Squeeze my hand. Usually, I like to start with my distal component. It's better because you can engage the rotation up there, okay? Now, no, stay. Come on, squeeze, squeeze my hand there, okay? Now, feel what I'm doing, don't let me move it. Stay. That's it. Feel it? Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's it. It's very, very, very subtle. Very, very soft, okay? You're going to feel a little bit of a tip happening, and that's it, you're done, okay? So, I want one of you guys lying down. I will go table to show you how, how it goes, okay? So, the one is the table is going to tell the other one how it goes, okay? So, someone come here and you coach them, okay? Huh? Squeeze. Yeah, squeeze my now, you can play with it if you want to. Okay, so let's say I have here as a patient, okay, and somehow I want to create more relaxation. I want somehow to help for her to feel the difference between a hold, okay, and a control relax. I want someone to get more power, and you can play with it. So I can say, well, squeeze my hand here, okay. I start with a hold, squeeze, okay. Stay there, let me move you. Keep it, keep it. Keep it there. Keep keep the position there. Keep the lower move there. That's it. Okay. So I start with the hole. I'm in the hole now. Okay. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. It's getting better. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. More. Keep it. Keep it. I go for control relax. Keep it. Come on. Keep it. Keep it. I can say, well, keep it. Don't let me, don't stay still. Okay. Now feel my hands. Feel my hands. And match what I'm doing. Match what I'm doing. Match what I'm doing. <laughs> Much okay. Feel feel my hands. Okay. See what I'm doing now. Stay there. So I'm going back and forward. So I went for a hold to a control relax and then relaxing a whole hold. hold. You, so you can do that if you want to. That's that's very fun to for the patient too because you squeeze, go go go, and then okay. Oh wow, this is relaxing. So somehow you can play with that. Okay. So one more time, squeeze my hand. Okay. So stay there. Okay. That's perfect. Okay. Keep it. Okay. Keep it. Keep it. Okay. Now keep it. Keep it. Keep it, stay there, stay, stay, good, stay, stay. Okay, now feel what I'm doing, feel what I'm doing, feel what I'm doing, keep it, keep it there, good, feel what I'm doing, there you are, there you are, good. See, and relax. Mm -hmm. I, I went for a hold, contract, hold, and then I start bouncing on my hold, okay? So you can do that if you want to. It's very fun, actually, for patients that have a lot of pain in joints, because you create a lot of contraction, you know what I mean? And you can get a very, very intense, okay, ir um, blood flow, okay? So that's relax too much. I love, 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 relax a lot. Yes, no. So do you move it to the point to where they have pain mm -hmm. there? So you can do that and clear it yeah. back. And then after okay. 20, 30 seconds of that, you can tell them to relax. Boom, and you go back and forward. You know, as you mentioned, motion. For what I'm trying to show you is how you somehow play with different contractions, okay? Okay, so practice that, okay? So go for hold, contract, hold, <coughs> go. <coughs> no, but improve like 50%. Wow. With pain, no symptoms or nothing. Two. Is this what you started with? Was this oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exa no, I thought it was cup a little bit, you know, but that's exactly what I do. Yeah. You can... You can you can do a lot of variations, you know, but the thing is here, we don't have to have time to show all the, all the things, but you can put more elbow flexion, more elbow extension, so you can trick a little bit, but basically it's that. It is. Okay, what do we have? Oh, okay. Stabilizing reversals. Okay. Didn't we do that? We did some kind of stabilizing. Stabilizing reversal. Yeah. Okay. Stabilizing reversal. Okay. What else do we have? Put that on Rhythmic stabilization. No, no, after, after, after we're done with all that. Okay. We have stretch. No, stretch. Stretch, timing Stretch. Stretch and repeat stretch. That's right. Stretch. We have stretch there. We have to do that one. Repeated stretch. Repeated stretch. We haven't done that one. And see no shit.
Correctional active muscle response facilitated by a quick stretch. Purpose, to increase strength, active range of motion. Good boy. And initiation of movement. Period. Okay, so repetitor for the beginning of the range. Okay, so what we do is when we're doing our patterns, somehow we need to stretch, okay, the muscle, bend, okay, so we can get the full motion, okay. So now, the first contraindication that you have with stretch from the beginning of the range, you don't want to do stretch from the beginning with the muscle two over five or less. With what? Muscle, what? muscle grade two or five or less. Should be two oh. plus or something like that. Oh. Oh. Because if, if, not, if not, you don't have enough muscle tone and power to sustain the stretch, you can break the muscle, okay? So two plus or more. So you have someone that comes to the clinic and, well, don't do it because you're going to injure the, into the tendon, okay? So at least you have a little bit two plus kind of that and then you can do it, okay? So, <clears throat> come here. <clears throat> what is my pillow? Okay. Now, again, Actually, well, I was in, in, we were in Tokyo talking about this, and um, this is not mandatory. I mean, you don't need to start all your patterns with repeated stretch or stretch from the beginning. If you don't want to, that's okay. Okay. Some PNF practitioner says that the most important part is to somehow get the elongation and the quick stretch to get the pattern going. And some people say, well, right, if I don't want to, I don't need to do it. Okay. So that's up to you. I leave it up to you. Okay. Screw my way. Okay. So we, we saw flexion. Okay. Abduction. External tension. Okay, so we saw how we did it. Okay, so from here, boom, bring it up. Okay, and do my elongation. And I didn't see anything else now. Go up and stuff like that. That's what we saw. Okay, now we change it. Okay, so from here, boom, you stretch all the components. Okay, open, and he goes back. So you are adding a little bit of the torque at the end of the range. Okay, so one more time. Relax completely here, so he's already has a lot of tension, and when it's done, open. A little bit of torque, okay? Be careful, go easy, okay? It's a little bit only, okay? Got it? Practice that. So that's repetition from the beginning. Off, okay? Because if I'm trying to do a quick stretch with a sock, I would get the sock, okay? So you don't want that. And then, okay? You don't want to, okay? <laughs> this is not a muscle. <laughs> this is a fabric, okay? <laughs> Thank you, there you are. Okay, so, now actually, 